All right, what's up, YouTube? Today we have the Tight Slots ebook. Um, you guys have been requesting it um, for a while now. Finally, bringing it to the YouTube channel. Um, it's a really high-powered offense. You can run it just as a standalone offense. You can mix it in along with Bunch and Bunch Strong and other formations in the Bengals playbook. Um, if you want to run this, the best tight slots is actually in the Bengals. I also do believe the Bears playbook has it in a little bit of a worse variety but make sure you're running the Bengals playbook here um we're gonna go through the plays now more recently i uploaded a video going through just post to a drag but feedback on that video was y'all wanted to see the whole offense so we have it here today i'm gonna go through the plays but before jumping to it i need you to go down below hit the like button hit the subscribe button turn those notifications on so you know exactly when i'm going live but um let's just jump straight into the tight slots ebook all right, so these are the audibles I like um, if I'm going to be running tight slots um, as a main formation. So if you're only running tight slots, um, so like you're coming out in it like I am right here, you want these audibles. But if I was to run it, um, like mix it in, which is what I do, I run bangles right now. So I'm in bunch offset audibly to bunch strong and tight slots. So I would use these audibles right here. So you can replace Poso Dragon inside zone if you only run tight slots and then come out in Poso Drag. But these are the audibles I like out of tight slots. Right, and another thing, personnel, you want to make sure that in Mutt right now, if you're playing Mutt, you, even in regs, you want to be using Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs um, because you have Travis Kelsey. Uh, you, you really want a good tight end. And then obviously having a higher master quarterback is just so dangerous. So in Mutt, use Joe Montana. Um, and then you probably want to be putting your best receiver right here where MVS is and then maybe have a speedster in regs if right here where Kadarius Tony is. Um, I think MVS is going to get most of the production in this offense, so that's why I say have him as your best receiver. But enough of me talking, let's just jump straight into the plays. Another thing that's very important with this offense is you want to make sure that you're running this on the short side of the field. So you see, um, we don't have a lot of room over here to the right, which is exactly what you want. You, be, you want to be running it to the short side. Um, it just allows for zones. It puts zones in a tougher position, guarding corner routes and crossers and stuff like that. So exactly how I have it right here is kind of how you want to run it. Um, but first play is going to be post hill drag. I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on this play right here since I already did an entire video on it which is right here. Um, if you want more in-depth post or drag breakdowns, probably just check out that video. But a couple more things that we're gonna build on um, in tight slots post or drag um, is a route combo kind of like this where you're gonna just, you're gonna put Y on a shriek and you're gonna motion him over, put B on a flat, A on a corner route, and then you can either block your running back or put him on an ankle route. I would say if you're playing against man coverage or if they're blitzing a lot of people, block him. Um, but here, we're just gonna block him and you're just gonna be able to see. It doesn't really matter the coverage here. They're gonna be in stock cover too. And you're just gonna be able to see if we have protection, you saw X breaking open over the top right there. So we definitely have a lot of people open. I also could have thrown my flat as well. Um, see sky more you're really putting this defender right here this outside corner a bind if he uh drops back and backs off you can just throw this flat off rip and then if he kind of comes down and guards the flat and you can throw kelsey over the top of him so also making sure you have enough protection um this blitz right here db fire 2 kind of the meta blitz right now just because of how bad other defenses are um, but if you see, there's a very easy way to block this blitz. Um, all you have to do is slide your line away from the running back and then ID. So your protection is just going to look just like this. This right here is just going to do a great job of taking away um, their, their send five blitz. Um, but if we call this play right here again, you're going to be able to see perfect protection. We have all day and we're able to just throw MVS over the middle of the field. Um, if we check out the instant replay here, you're going to be able to see, like I said, that protection does a great job of picking up this blitz. You see our tackle right here, Jawan Taylor, is able to block the slot corner and then... And then our running back on the other side does a great job blocking the other slot corner. So we had a beautiful lane to run with Mahomes if we needed it. But again, MBS was wide open in that post. So we take that. The last post with drag where I come that I'm going to go through is something like this. Just put Y on a slant and then B on a shriek. Leave A on his drag. 
um, set your protection as well. You just snap the ball, you're gonna be able to see a lot of options. A on his drag is open. You also see that X over the middle. Anytime you call this play, you really need to be looking at X first because this route is just so hard to guard. It gets underneath of deep blues. It gets over the top of man coverage and cloud flats. So it's, it's just a really good route that has a lot of ways of getting open. All right, so for this right here, you again, you wanna make sure you have your receivers on the short side. This is Flood. Um, very popular play last year. Um, this year, I'm not gonna say it's not as good because it's still a staple of the offense. But again, right here, what I would do is slide my line and then ID the slot corner. This time you're gonna have your tight end blocking um, for you. But if you see, if they decide that they wanna run a cover three on this side, you're gonna be able to see that our corner route's gonna do a great job of getting open. Um, if they're gonna play zone coverage, I might also consider just putting X on a hitch, um, something like this. And you see Kadarius Tony's wide open, you really drive that ball um, in there. And yeah, he's wide open. It's just cover three on the short side. You see a corner route with a shriek is gonna do a great job of getting open. Um, you also have this flat on this side um, to Jared McKinnon. If they don't put a flat on the field, they did here, but if they don't, then you can just throw this immediately. You can also see that this hitch was open. Now, uh, their user might have to come down and guard it. So you can really hold their user. And then you also see we have a, a lot of protection here. Travis Kelsey does a great job of blocking the slot corner on this side. And you see Mahomes has a lot of room to run as well. So this play just has so many options and it's really hard to stop. All right, so you're gonna be able to see, um, this is more of a five out route combo right here. Um, where you put X on a curl, A on the flat, and then corner shriek on the side of the field. Um, just step up with your quarterback. If they want to send five, you're gonna see, you can throw, you, Y was open there. Um, Mahomes just has a really wonky release. And also you can see that that hitch was open or that curl was open in the middle of the field now. I'm using two controls in practice mode, so I can't. Yeah, you're gonna be able to see Kadarius Tony was open here on this corner route. All right, so the next play is gonna be just inside zone. I mean, I'm not really gonna spend a whole lot of time on this also because it's just a run play. If they wanna spread their line, um, you're gonna have some room there with your running back to be able to pick up yards. I mean, I, I really wouldn't run this if they pinch their line or I would only run it in clock situations or if they have their line spread but yeah that's inside zone all right so next up we have four verticals here um probably my favorite route combo to go with out of this right here is just putting x on a post and putting rb on a shriek you're really going to put the defense in conflict with these two with this seam to be and then also the um the running back shriek as well so you snap the ball you have time rb's open there now he dropped it there but he was open um and that's probably gonna be their user as well so their user is really gonna have to pick between x over the middle you see mvs was open right here x over the middle and then this running back shriek as well i probably even could have thrown it earlier like right off rip as well so you see we have a lot of options on this play um also if they decide to not put a flat on this side you see we're gonna have travis kelsey just open off rip as well so definitely that play has a lot of potential and um you might even be able to highball a shriek in the seam there on right, another um four verticals route combo we have here is y on a shriek b on a corner route and then leave a on his route you motion over y and then you put x on a post so you see, make sure you're setting your protection again, sliding away from the running back and IDing to the same side as well. And then you're gonna be able to see here, B is wide open, running over the top. And you see here, we take it for a touchdown. So definitely have a lot of options with this play. And when you have Hara Master, like, it doesn't really matter what play you're calling. Like this can be done out of post to a drag. It can really be done out of any of the plays that I've showed so far because Having higher master just allows you to put anyone on any route. So you see X was open over the middle of the field right here. And then Y obviously, or B on his corner route. All right, so the last play that I'm gonna go through here is going to be mesh spot. What makes this play so good is this skinny pose from B. Um, it's a really good man beater and also it does a great job against zone coverage as well. So you're gonna be able to see right here um, if we go ahead and snap this ball, um, you see B 
just able to throw that over the middle of the field now harrison smith has a knockout ability but you see we're able to throw that um definitely had enough room as well and then you also see our our drag from Kadarius tony definitely could have thrown this right here and then also the running back coming out of the backfield um, if their user is not in the middle of the field, you can all also easily throw that. The Shriek does a really good job of running off this deep blue. Um, I don't really know why Harrison Smith guarded this. Um, this isn't even really his zone, but um, again, if you don't, if they don't have a knock on ability, they don't have a chance to guard this at all. all right, I feel like I'd be doing you guys wrong if I didn't show this offense against man coverage. So right here we have some man coverage. Um, Against man coverage, really what you want to be looking for is just putting as many crossers on the field as possible. So if we're calling post to a drag, um, then what we would do, just look for X over the middle. I mean, he's going to absolutely destroy his man. I don't know how he dropped that wide open pass, but he was wide open on that. And also my slant ran really far up the field for some reason. Um, so that's kind of weird. But you see, probably could have thrown Kelsey. Um, if your slant doesn't run 15 yards up the field, he would have been open around the 40 yard line. Um, and then you obviously have your post from post to drag that gets open. This play was really weird. I don't know what happened. I don't know how that didn't get caught. With this, where you're just gonna have a lot of guys crossing the middle of the field. Um, so snap the ball here, you're gonna be able to see. We step up, step up, step up. And we have our post open. Now he bumps into Travis Kelsey. So we also had B open, um, which is probably what I should have thrown. Um, so again, it's man coverage. You're just waiting to see which crosser gets open. Um, Marcus Vada Scanley is open. He just gets bumped. He probably would have been a touchdown right there. Um, and then Sky Moore is a huge gain as well. So that's a really good route combo out of post of drag against man coverage. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna show against man coverage is mesh spot here. Um, we put RB on an angle route, we put Y on a drag, and we put A on the corner route. And if we snap the ball, you're gonna be able to see A does a really good job of destroying his man, getting open. I mean, that's Travis Kelsey. He's obviously gonna just annihilate his guy. Um, but if we look at everything else in this play, you're gonna be able to see our post. Look at Sky Moore's separation on this route. Just look at this. Boom. Definitely open on this play here. Pass lead all the way to the right or to the left. Um, and then you see our other routes. Unfortunately, Kadarius Tony fell down running his route. But you see Jarek McKinnon right here annihilates his man coverage. If he keeps running, he's wide open as well. But again, Travis Kelsey on his corner route does a great job against man coverage. Gets open and you're able to run up the field and pick up a huge gain. All right, so tight slots, a really meta offensive formation for good reason. Does a great job against man zone. Against man, you really just want to put a ton of crossers, slants, drags, table routes, stuff like that. Um, those do a really good job against man coverage. And then zone, you just kind of want to obviously find the holes in the zone. Um, if they're going to run cover two, you're going to be able to probably just throw corner routes over the top of them, throw post or drag post over the middle of the field. And then if they're going to run cover three, it's just short side corners. It's kind of what you want to go to, cover three, cover four, stuff like that. Um, so it's a, it's a really hard formation to blitz, which is another reason why it's so good. But... Um, also, you can mix in that inside zone as well, um, and then the other stuff in the Bengals playbook for red zone and stuff like that. So this offense so hard to stop on a drive-by-drive -drive basis, has a lot of really good stuff um, in it. But that's pretty much going to be the end of the video. Don't forget to check out the other video I did on Postal Drag specifically, um, which is right here. And again, it's also going to be in the description. But um, that's pretty much all I have. Don't forget to go down below, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'm going to catch you guys in the next video. Peace.